Hi. How's it going? Yeah, it is both an eclipse, a lunar eclipse tonight, and a full moon tonight. So, same here. Uh, the <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Anyways, hello, I'm Hillary Raven Porter. Uh, if you've seen me pop on these lives before, you kind of know what it's all about. If you haven't, then you're gonna know new soon, right? Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of a, so earlier today, my partner and I, we've been sitting with the vibrational elixirs that I've been creating. Um, but we've been sitting with them individually to see how they, how they flow, what they offer, other than what we know of from the internet and the common knowledge, which is powerful. It's like, uh, when we have a master taking the information and they pass it on to us. Um, so for example, when I was in school for Western herbalism, we were learning all these great things from, from previous, which is great because we need to know those things. But then we are also here to carry on that wisdom and add what we discover now. And so that's what me and Derek, my divine partner, are doing is we're sitting with these crystal and vibrational elixirs and, and figuring that out. But the words, as they were trying to come out earlier, oh my goodness, absolutely crazy, ridiculous, hilarious. He's like going off and it's so great. And I'm just like, yeah, it helps you feel clear. <laughs> yeah, I can't get anything else out. It was pretty entertaining. Um... Keep an eye out because that video is going to be posted soon. We're sitting with a new one every week. This week was uh, the Rainbow Frequency Chakra to the Power of Seven Activator. Yeah, it's divine. Um, so hello. What are we doing here? We are here under the eclipse and the full moon, which I already said. It's in Gemini. So Gemini... I have a Gemini child, and so I didn't know that much about it before, but he's a Gemini Gemini. <laughs> so um Gemini with a rising of Gemini so think of like instead of just two you know Gemini the twins there's four <laughs> so it's like trying to stay focused idea generator creativity generator right and then with the eclipses we have the power the vortex is open the vortex is coming it is a strong vortex um, it's open. So we have more information coming through, right? So this started about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, it started about two weeks ago for the eclipse, right? The eclipse penumbra of the eclipse. So that's like when we start really feeling the effects. And I don't know about you, but time has been like, and like super morphic and like, um, so for example, you're doing something, usually takes you half an hour to do, and you do it in five minutes. And you're like, how did that happen? And after half an hour, like, how do I get all those things done? I started at one, it's only one thirty. What's going on? Um, or the opposite where you're just like, what is happening? Time is like this. I personally have been experiencing the other one, the first one where it's like, time is just, it, you can do so much more in that, in that period. Right. We have a little kitten friend joining us. It's Rosie Bear. She wants to come in. Hi. What are you doing? Um, yeah. And so time is totally amorphous and this is going to be going. So tonight, uh, I'm in Victoria, BC. The eclipse starts at about 11, I think it's 1134 and it goes till 330 something in the morning. So we have this one and then we have another one in the middle of December. So We'll still be feeling the effects of this one, right? As we start feeling the effects of the next one, and then the next one will feel the effects for two weeks after. So till basically the end of December, we're going to be feeling this sensation, right? Um, and it's interesting because as soon as it's the guy, there's a lot of heightened states, right? So that's also part of the like trying to find the words because it's just like this and 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 that amp up of energy, right? We feel this amp amplification of just like, but it might not be that type of energy. You could be laying down, you're like, I'm going to totally take a nap and you're like, I can't, but I'm tired, but I can't because it's just this kinetic energy that's happening. Baby, she's, she's getting up. <laughs> she's getting up in the elixir she's like what are these magic potions over here yeah I'm talking about you <laughs> she's so funny 
Um, so that there's, there's this kinetic energy of just like, hey, what's going on? I can do this. And that's like more felt inside the brain. And you might have that jittery, like, gotta, 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 gotta. And again, the Gemini, like, do, 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 and just all over the place, right? Um, yeah, it's a, it, it, it's a time. <laughs> it's a time. Plus, we're coming up to solstice. So excited. We actually just did a, we do an advent calendar, but we call it the, um, the winter solstice calendar because we're not we're not big Christmas people but I got a kidlet you know and it's kind of a deal with him um so we do this advent calendar with little coupons in the 24 days and it's super fun so we just put it together yesterday and there's like little treasure hunts in there for him to go to things and the coupons he gets to redeem throughout the year so it's actually really exciting like here pizza day let's go to Fry's Bakery if you're in Victoria and you haven't been to Fry's Sunday pizza just saying it's absolutely fresh ingredients local oh, sorry. Uh, so we're going to pull a card. Um, if you also would like a card pulled specifically for you, please let me know. And I can totally pull a card specifically for you. And then we'll see what the guides have to say. Hmm. Huh. So I absolutely love this deck. Uh, like I said, if you've seen this before, you know, you would have seen me talk about this deck. It's the Tao Oracle. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so this is not the card that I pulled. It's actually kind of the complete opposite of this card I'm going to show you. But So it has the image. It has some words down below so that it's good for intuitive readings as well. Um, but the book is like oh, spot on. And then it has the I Ching here. So I'm going to roll co these coins three times. I got that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to roll coins three times and let us know if there's any extra messaging that needs to, um, that needs to, that would like to come out for us. It's, it, and the more you work with this deck, it's like any deck, the more you work with them, um, <clears throat> the clearer the messages are. But I've been finding this one has been spot on and it keeps so no extra messages <laughs> they're like it's because it's just what it is and i think you'll understand once i show you what the card is <laughs> and i just realized it's perfect so i'll show it to you first and then we'll talk about it <laughs> so these around the outside if you take a close look it's I see it as it's birds, but I see it as raven crows. But when I first looked at it, it looked like hands reaching in and very uncomfortable, right? Hands coming in where they shouldn't be coming in. So this is card for 47, which is 11, which we'll go into in a second. It's all about oppression, restriction, exhaustion, depression, depleted resources feeling cut off, punishment and confinement. I don't think I need to really elaborate on what's happening in the world right now. We call it the everything in this house. But I feel there's multiple things to this card. So those hands and the depression, that reaching in, that there's this big thing out there of be kind to each other, don't judge. But it feels as this, if that message is only towards the people that follow what the higher-ups say. Don't judge them. Don't be cruel to them. They're doing what they feel they need to do. But if there is anybody who appears to not be following the orders um, in this province, it's Dr. B. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, and if they're, if you're not following those orders to the T or it's, even if you are, but it's a P, the appearance is that you are not, instead of coming to you and those people, right? Those people that speak out, those people that question, those people that even ask a simple question, even if they're wearing their mask, even if they're sanitizing their hands 17 times a day, even if they're washing every surface, even amongst their family, that they live with, even if they're doing that, but if they raise a hand and say, I have a question, this doesn't make sense to me because of 
A and B. This was said, but now this is being said. That's being done, but this is being done at the same time. And they raised that hand and asked that question. They are not often being treated without judgment, without compassion, without patience. Right? With patience, I guess I should say. They're being judged. There's impatience with them, and there's some downright mean people. I don't. I try not to be on social media that much. In regards to scrolling and looking at all that stuff, because it, it's not good, right? It just amps up your anxiety and all of that stuff. But the little bit that I do see, and what I hear about from the people in my world, it hurts my heart. You're not following orders. I'm sorry, or you are following orders, but you're questioning them. We shall now look down upon you and treat you like a pariah. Have you thought to ask the person that's not wearing the mask? Do they have a medical condition? Which you technically, I mean, it's not your right. But do, and by you, I don't mean you. <laughs> I'm speaking to those people that are judging, those people that are just making the snap decision. As to could die, to just die. Of, this is why you're doing that. And you're like, have you actually asked? There's multiple reasons. I see many people through my practice, online, the virtual portals, in my space. Anxiety is a thing. Claustrophobia is a thing. Right? That, like, breathing in your self-air, breathing out and then back in, can actually cause aggravation for people. And then there's the comments that you hear, of course, of the person that's like, I get aspiration pneumonia if it happens. Well, then don't leave your house. Don't think that's the solution. And I mean, granted, they're probably not going to leave their house anyways that much. But you see, like, yeah. Yeah, this. This isn't only the oppression, because it says the punishment, the confinement, but it's also the confinement we create upon our own community. The ostracization. You left your house without your mask. You're in your own car without your mask. Where is the, the compassion, right? The punishment. As you could die, all the people that are out there right now their PTSD, being brought up, 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 because it feels like that time when they couldn't move. Not because they weren't allowed to move, but because they couldn't. But this time they're being forced into that space because they're not allowed to. And where are the services and where is the compassion for them? The services are pretty lacking right now. Oh, if you can pay, of course it's there. But... That is the challenge. A lot of people are unable to pay. I just realized where this went today. This card. There's also been a lot for people right now. If you know somebody during it, we may not celebrate Christmas in this house. In the capacity that other people do. But this is a time, regardless of how people celebrate, that people get together. And so many people are like, I'm not able to go back to my family. So if there is somebody in your world that you know that this is impacting in that way, even if it's the smallest connection that you have with them, is there some way you can reach out? You need to drop some cookies off at their house. I don't know, is that everything friendly? I don't know. Personally, sweet, awesome, thank you, I get cookies, drop them off a little something, give them a text to just be like, hey dude, I'm thinking about you, Zoom date, like, you're allowed to go for that walk at that distance, like, really, because this, this, oh yeah. We're talking two, three, four, or like two, three, four, and longer repercussions of this. And this, this card, every time I see this card, it reminds me of that darkness, that depression, that deep state that we can get into. That mental health, like, no thank you, but how do we come out of it? 
So that's partly what this is creating. Our children, I mean, children are resilient. That's great. But this is a thing. They're being desocialized. They're not able to connect in the same way. If they're in school, great. Not all the kids are in school. There isn't school everywhere. But this is going to have major reverberations and repercussions because the things are not in place to help. To keep that help. Here's those free programs. Here you go. Capisitotosh, great. Throwing the money at people. That's all. People need the money. But what about the support systems? Because that money is barely there to help pay them for a day. So what's so beautiful about this card, though? Can you see? Look at what's in her hands. Their hands. That glowing ball. So even though even though this is happening there is still I like the word hope but hope there is still potential but it's up to us due to lack of outer support by the higher ups as we shall say to support each other and to support what we want to see and how we want it to change. How do we grow that light? It's keeping our bodies moving. Which, okay, it's keeping our bodies moving if that is what is nourishing for you. Currently going through some stuff on my own end and learning about pacing, right? Pacing is pulling back, not doing, 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 but allowing yourself to be and really understanding that does physical activity actually exhaust you? Not in that way that's like, oh yeah, I'm kind of tired, but it'll work up. But if your adrenal system is already by pushing and getting exercise, it's not actually going to help you build stamina. It's going to deplete. So we need to build up and allow ourselves into that parasympathetic state, not the fight, flight, or freeze. We have to be in that parasympathetic state for a while, right? Especially if we're used to living in fight, flight, or freeze all the time. So it's learning, and it's not just physical, though. It's also your mental stamina, right? Apparently, I'm feeling a little attitude tonight. <laughs> this is, hello, but it's that stamina, Mentally, we also become depleted. How many conversations have you had to have? How many times have you had to defend yourself? How many things have actually taken up that frontal lobe, right? Executive functioning. It's like if you drive too long and then you get to the end of a, a um, car trip and you're just like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so exhausted. But all I did was drive because you're using this executive functioning and it's wearing out and then you crash. And then there can be, if you deal with fibro or any of the neurological things, chronic fatigue, then all of a sudden you're exhausted because you weren't pacing. Pacing is a thing. It's true. So we need to pace ourselves. It's going to be a long haul. But in this meantime, we need to keep that light. So what does that light look for you? Is it physical movement? Is it, what's your love language? That's basically what this is about. And how can you, you're just like, yes. How can you feed that love language? Do you know somebody else's love language that's near you? What can you do to help them? Maybe you know that your neighbor, I mean, you might not know your neighbor, but your neighbor really appreciates gifts of service offerings of service and you're like oh there's their garbage bag they're about to take it to the dumpster you take it for them take it to the curb for them if they're if the garbage people are coming physical touch is kind of a hard one right you know somebody loves physical touch or you love physical touch because this is also about nourishing yourself sleep with stuffed animal i'm proclaiming that now his name is giraffinator I'm blessed that my partner is okay with it because he's big. But without him, I do not sleep the same because of the texture, because of the feeling, right? That physical sensation. 
So we got the acts of service. We got the words of love. Do you, are you missing the words of love? Is there a podcast that you listen to that makes you feel amazing? Do you have a friend that you could be like, do you think you could send me a little love note? Do you know somebody who really loves hearing the words about how they're appreciated? I think most people do, right? And just like sending that out and being like, hey, guess what? I love you. This is why I love you. It'd be like one sentence. I love you because you make me laugh hysterically even when I'm in the most pain. I love you because you can bring me out of my depths. I love you because you can take me into my depths. Right? What other love languages are there? Touch, gifts of service. What's the other one? Words, <laughs> which we just talked about. Oh, there's two more and I always forget them. Mm. But you get the gist, right? You get the idea. What is your light? How does your light need to be nourished? And how can you make that happen during this time? While really allowing others and their reality without getting into the politics because everybody's reality is a little bit different you could ask three people that experienced the exact same car accident you're going to get three different stories. Because how they lived it was different. So patience, compassion, compassionate inquiry. <laughs> Say an inquiry. Ask, why do you have this belief system? Why does that work for you? Well, not all the sheep are white. That was, you know what I mean, the white sheep. I was picturing a rainbow sheep amongst a herd of sheep. Right? Why is the rainbow sheep rainbow? How did they get that way? Maybe you want a little purple on your fur. <laughs> I don't know. Right? Maybe a bit of that rainbow rubs off on you. Yeah. Hold on to that light. And know you're not alone. Not always love and light. Not always love and light. Oh, that's here we go. So that's sign off. So four plus seven equals four plus seven equals eleven. So what's eleven? Eleven's a gateway. Apasito tushto taya to kumiesta gateway. Two goalposts. Gateway through. You've got the image of the sphinxes facing each other from um that's that. It's that never ending story. You gotta walk through. Truth of heart. Apsito toshto tsai. Truth of heart. Apsito shto. Pure light. Apsito toshko tsai. Sita. To get through that darkness, to get to the other side. Apsito toshko tsai. And to the next leg of this journey. Apsito toshko tsai. If you need anything, I am here. Apsito shto to. Tadino shko tsai. Toshko tsai. Tito posto a mistai. Multiple capacities. Reach out if you have any questions. Still holding sessions. It has not ended. Nope. It's needed now more than ever. Shadow work in eclipse time. And shadow time. Apasito Toshko Namaste. Okay. So much love and service to you. Thank you for joining me tonight. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Pasa a ti, no,
and they changed this and I don't know how to uh, 